January 6th, 2013, about quarter to 8 a.m. I couldn't wait. I had to just come here and do my reaction video right away. Um, driving home from work, I work, I work graveyard. My mother calls me, you know, because I'm from a proud uh, Buffalo Bills family tradition of Bills fans. She's like, hey, the Bills have just announced a new coach. And I'm like, really? Because, you know, I've been awake all night. I didn't hear anything. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, I don't think it's Chip Kelly because I think it's pretty much a done deal with the Browns. I'm like, okay, is it, is it Ken Wisenhunt? Is it Lovey Smith? Oh, my God, did they really, did they really do it? Um, like, who could it be? So, you know, I'm excited. And I'm like, okay, who'd they get? Doug Marone. And I'm like, no! And that's pretty much my reaction. Okay, so before you guys all, all you college Syracuse fans, start hitting the dislike button and, oh, you're so stupid, blah, blah, blah. I would really would like it if you guys heard me out. Um, okay, so let me, let me chronologically run through everything here. Um... So, obviously, Chan Gailey's fired on Monday, or I think it was Sunday. It was Monday. And, you know, immediately, I think the very first story was Bills are looking at Syracuse coach Doug Marone. And my first impression is simply, who's that guy? Haven't heard of him, and immediately I go back to Chan Gailey, who was someone I did not know until he was hired. And when I said, when they got rid of Chan Gailey, I'm like, the Bills have to get it right. I know I didn't make a video about it or anything, but my thoughts were the Bills need to get it right. And by getting it right, it means not so much a name just to justify your marketing or anything like that. Because I will admit, um, I was worried a little bit that we were just going to get a guy um, who had a name and wasn't going to do well just to market again, kind of like a T.O. situation. Um... I did not want that, but I did want someone who has done it in the NFL position, head coaching. They said, we're going to hire a head coach. Well, okay, then hire a head coach. And they didn't do it. I mean, yes, they hired a college head coach. Woo but, like, you know, I mean, you could any anybody uh, at, on any level has head coached, you know? I mean, like, I'm sure someone who's a coordinator used to be a volleyball coach. You know, I mean, someone has head coached or even a high school head coach was a coordinator, you know, things like that. Um, so, I mean, that that's such a horrible way of saying, oh, we're going to hire a head coach. Um, okay. So, so obviously, you know, we interview uh, Ked Wisenheim. We hire Ray Horton. Or we, we interview Ray Horton. We, uh, we interview Chip Kelly. We interview um, Doug Marone. And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that they're just going to go through the interviews and all that good stuff. And, and then they're going to pick their guy. So, okay, so, you know, we're going through this, and, and you know, obviously, you got Chip Kelly going to the Browns, so that makes you think, okay, well, who are they going to go with now? And when you look at all the options, I was, um, basically, I was looking at Wiz and Hunt and, and Lovey Smith, to be honest, they're both two teams that took their, their teams to the Super Bowl. Now, listen, Wiz and Hunt, pretty much had a quarterback doing it for him, Kurt Warner. Okay, so I, I would be saying that if we hired Wizard. I'd be like, okay, kind of cool, but I'm still a little skeptical until the season starts. Um, Lovey Smith, though, okay, he was 10-6 and six with the bra with the, wow, sorry, with the Bears, and, um, and, but what did he do? He took his team to the Super Bowl with no quarterback. That's the power of Lovey Smith there. He, he molded a defense and took them to a Super Bowl with Rex Grossman, okay? if We're talking Ryan Fitzpatrick Super Bowl here. If, you know, we're talking about hiring Lovey Smith. I mean, I'm not saying that can happen, but it's like the guy has a proven track record. I mean, you got to respect that. And so, I mean, the and, okay, the Bills, or excuse me, Lovey Smith wanted to come to Buffalo. This wasn't just like, oh, we're, yeah, let's see if we can get his interest. No, we could have gotten him because he wanted to come here. And apparently, so now he's probably going to end up with the Cardinals, I'm going to guess. Um, but, um, but yeah, 
Lovey Smith could have come to Buffalo because he wanted to come to Buffalo, and now he's not going to come to Buffalo because we went with Doug Marone, which was pretty much, I think, their first thought at the beginning, because that was the first story I heard, like, within hours of Channing and Gale getting fired, Doug Marone was already online, and I'm like, okay, who's that? And I didn't really go much into it, but but that was my, and the reason I did it was because that was my first thought, like, oh, God, please don't let us go to Sy get the Syracuse guy. Now, okay, so before, as I said, before I hope you guys just haven't stopped watching already, start disliking this or whatever, I have a ton of respect for Syracuse. I, myself, almost went to Syracuse. I, I, it was between Syracuse and another school, and um, for reasons that I know of, I went with the other school. But um, I really, I went to Syracuse. I toured the university. Um, I was part of their orientation program. Like the, I, My name was on the, on the Jumbotron, you know, and, and it was a really nice thing that was going on there. And I went, I, I went to the communication school, checked that place out. Um, my roommate's name would have been Carmelo Antonio or something like that. It was kind of weird. But, um, so yeah, I ended up going to the other school. But, um, so yeah, so I mean, I have a ton of respect for Syracuse. Um, I have a ton of respect for their basketball organization. But let's talk about Doug Marone and what he's done. Because I, my thought was, okay, let's really take a look and see what's going on here. No, he's no name, but let's just take a look. Record at Syracuse, guys. Anybody want to guess what it is? Come on, make a guess. Guess right now as you're watching this. I mean, he's a college coach coming into um, the NFL, so you want to think pretty decent record, right? He's 25 for 25. Yeah, he's won 50% of his games. That doesn't literally pass the test, people. That's, like, be out below failing in high school. <laughs> okay? So, um, so there's problem number one. Problem number two, like, the only good season was this past season where, and of course this is college we're talking about here, so eight and five means your first place, and he wins the bowl game. Whoop-dee-doo! I'm sorry. I mean, because, you know, I mean, I think, I think UB went to a bowl game and lost to UConn a few years back, and, I mean, as long as you win your, your conference, you go to the bowl game, you know? And apparently, I mean, the other teams must have really been bad for them to win the bowl game. Yeah, I'm sorry I haven't done all the, the checking up on this one. Um, so, but everyone is talking about his, uh, his NFL experience. His, um, him being the offensive coordinator for the Saints. Okay, fine. So, he was the offensive coordinator of the Saints between 2006 and 2008. 2006, of course, was the magical year where the Saints um, came back and had their stadium back after Katrina. They were 3-13 and the previous year, and suddenly they're in the NFC Championship game, where they lose to the Bears, who, of course, had Lovey Smith as the coach, but I digress. Um, so, but then after that, the Saints were 7-9 and nine and 8-8. Eight and eight. Now, they blame the defense, but okay, so, so Doug Marone leaves, and he goes to... Um, Syracuse. And then the year after he leaves the Saints, they win the Super Bowl. And yes, I, I don't, I was trying to figure out the coordinators. I don't know. I, I'm i not sure how long um, Greg Williams was on the team. I don't know if they, co if they coached at the same time. I want to say Greg Williams was there before the 2009 season. Um, I'm pretty sure he was. But anyway, I digress again. Um, it's just the guy doesn't impress me. The only thing that has impressed me is he had this really good speech. And this is, this is a sad thing. He had a really good speech um, when he took over for the coach at Syracuse. And it, it fired me up a little bit. I listened to it, and I'm like, man, they're going to win some games. Good deal. Here's the thing. It, it was talk. Because 25-25, he didn't do it. I mean, so what are we talking here? Like He's going to get us to an 8-8 eight eight record, maybe? I don't know. Look, Buffalo had their chance. They had their chance to make a good splash in the coaching realm. The quarterback splat availability is not there. So who knows what's going to happen with the whole Fitzpatrick thing and everything. I mean, if, you know, I, there's really no good replacement for Fitzpatrick right now, um, at least in availability speaking. 
But coaching, there was a lot of coaches out there. There were some decent coaches, and some of them wanted to come to Buffalo. And we once again go out and get a college coach who I really I don't think is going to translate well to Buffalo. I just I don't think it's going to work again. I mean, the only thing he has going for him is he brings a little bit of excitement as a person. I think he can he can make you feel good, like pump you up or whatever. And, and that and then it's good because I'll tell you, I mean, Chan Gailey, I can't imagine him pumping up anybody and and Dick Chiron. <laughs> Let's not even go there. So I mean, that's that's a great added thing. You know, I want to see someone fired up on the sidelines, but you know, we could have done better. And we we had that option. We had it. We had the option to do better than this. And we didn't take it. So, okay. So this has been about 10 minutes. So that's pretty much all I'm going to say. Um, we we hired Doug, Doug Marone. And I, I think the Bills blew it. I really think they did. Um, I'm sorry to the Syracuse fans and their, and their loyals um, that I'm saying all that. But... Um, and again, I think, and I, I, I like, I like the guy. Don't get me wrong. And that's kind of like Chen Gailey too. I mean, I just listened to him for a few minutes. I listened to some interviews, and I'm like, man, I, this is a good guy. But I mean, he hasn't proved it really. And and the fact that the Saints did it without him after he left tells you that it didn't really mean much. Um, I mean, no substantial, awesome track record. Or I, oh, Gailey's record almost looks better. And um, I don't know. I think we blew a huge opportunity, and that's 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 really what I'm getting at here. We blew, we blew it. We we had an opportunity, we blew it. We blew the opportunity. All right, Buffalo. Um, feel free to leave comments. I'm sure that um, I'm gonna get ripped to shreds on this one. Um, that's fine. Um, fair enough. If you're gonna rip me to shreds, tell me why I'm wrong. Okay, tell me why this is an awesome move for the Buffalo Bills, and I will listen and maybe feel better. But as of right now, I don't. So, uh, Buffalo, we got a new coach, and that's it. Take care.